Hello guys and welcome back to Easy Stock Investing. Today we're going to be covering three of my favorite dividend stocks that I own and that I think you should consider owning yourself. But before we do that, I have to let you know that I'm in no way a financial advisor. I do not have a finance degree. I'm just a normal guy sharing his opinions about stocks. So please, before you buy a stock that I recommend in this video, do your own research and make your own informed decisions before you invest your heart in cash. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really does help me out and the channel. If you are new to the channel, hit that red subscribe button so that you will be notified every time I upload a new video. Now that we got that crap out of the way, let's jump right in. The first stock we're going to be talking about is Coca-Cola, ticker symbol KO. Now come on guys, if I have to explain to any of you who Coca-Cola is, you must have been living under a rock for your entire life. They're the largest beverage distri distributor by a very wide margin and probably one of the top five most recognizable companies in the entire world. If you have drank anything that isn't water in the last hundred years, chances are you are probably drank something that was made or distributed by Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola's market cap is worth $214 billion. Their P.E. ratio is 22 and their dividend yield is currently at 3.3%. Over the last month, they're up 5%. Now keep in mind, guys, when we're looking at dividend stocks, you're not looking for a huge growth as far as percentage-wise. Don't get me wrong, it would be a beautiful added bonus, but when you're, when you're looking for good dividend stocks, you're looking for companies that constantly pay and grow their dividends. On a three-month chart, Coke's up 6.79%. On the yearly chart, they're down 9.8%. But keep in mind, guys, when this whole Rony Rona situation went crazy, the market had a huge dip, and Coke just hasn't made up all of its losses yet. On, over the past five years, Coca-Cola is up 31%, which is, that's, that's decent for a dividend stock. So you take that 31% and you bank all the dividends as well. That's what you're getting out of Coca-Cola right now. That's everything. So at 3.3%, like I said, that's very nice, and they're very reliable. They have been growing and paying their dividends for over 50 years. Some of you might think this information is outdated, but uh, honestly, Warren Buffett's fourth largest position is in Coca-Cola, and he seems to know that quite a bit about the stock market. <laughs> so uh, apparently he likes that dividend yield as well. At its current, current price of $49.83, I believe that Coke stock is at a discount. I'm actually thinking about buying a few more shares myself. I see some decent opportunity for growth as well as raking in the healthy dividend every year. And I mean, I, apparently the people at Yahoo and I finance tend to agree with me a little bit here. Um, they see this stock as a $53.55 stock, which gives it room to grow by, you know, six or seven dollars here according to Yahoo Finance, and they've got it set as a, a 2, which is a buy rating. So you like to see that when you're uh, looking for a dividend stock. Um, so the next stock we're going to talk about is Chevron Oil, ticker symbol CVX. Not much to say about Chevron other than they got left in the Dow and Exxon got the boot. That should tell you all you need to know about who Wall Street thinks is going to come out on, the, on top of this situation. Chevron is big oil, people. It, it's it's it. It's Chevron and Exxon, and that's just about it anymore, it feels like. It's got a market crap of $159 billion and a nice, juicy dividend of 5.8%. That's something you don't find very much anymore with very reliable companies. And look at this. I've got a dividend coming in here uh, September 10th of $6.89. That must be a quarterly dividend. They're paying me. Um, my market value on Chevron right now is $457. It's 7.3% of my portfolio. Um, and I have a, so far, a negative 3.38% return on Chevron, which, I mean, it is what it is. I, oil's doing crazy things right now. Um, 
I don't know if many of you knew this or not, but uh, not too long ago, Chevron purchased Noble Energy. This will substantially increase Chevron's reserves for a low cost. It also gives them added acreage for more upside in the Permian Basin. And as we all know, Chevron's, they needed to make up some percentage in the Permian to get back on the right track, and that's exactly what they did by buying Noble Energy. Chevron has definitely made it clear to its shareholders that even through Rony Rona, they will continue to maintain that juicy di dividend that its investors have grown accustomed to. It's, it is very refreshing to see transparency from one of the world's largest oil companies. Chevron's efforts to preserve its balance sheet and mitigate risk, coupled with its upside potential, reinforce the company's reputation as one of the best oil stocks on the market. And I'm going to sh pull up Yahoo Finance and show you here real quick um, that their price predictor target shows plenty of room for growth for this stock. They are between a buy and a hold, which is fine. I mean, you know, you do your own research on that one. But out of 23 analysts, we've got an average price target of $99.87. So that gives you quite a bit room for growth plus that juicy dividend. I mean, I just don't see how you go wrong there with Chevron. Um, and the last stock we are going to be talking about today, General Motors. Ticker symbol GM. Now, guys, all I've heard lately is Tesla, Tesla, Tesla. How they are going to for sure just lock down the electric vehicle and auto driving market. No one else is going to come close. And they might. That's a very real possibility. However, this market... This EV market is eventually going to turn into the way the gas-powered market is now, large and full of competition. I'm not saying that Tesla stock doesn't have the potential to go to the moon, because it does, and it has. All I'm saying is that GM stock offers a juicy dividend, something that Tesla does not offer, and I also believe that there is room for some very robust growth that a lot of people right now are not seeing, and this could happen within the next five to ten years. Keep in mind, also keep in mind, people, that Tesla, they had a price-to-earnings ratio of over a thousand as of the closing bell on Friday. GM's was 28. Keep this in mind. GM sells more vehicles than Tesla and brings in more profit than Tesla, and the numbers aren't even comparable. They're not comparable right now. Um, GM is a $42 billion company. It should be more than that. <laughs> its P-E ratio is 28, dividend yield of 5.1%, which is very, very juicy. Anything over 5, you're looking at pretty good in a nice, reliable company. I've got uh, $450 market value on this stock, 15 shares. I'm currently up 0.74% right now. This is a relatively early investment for me. Um... But I, I do love General Motors. I do. I think if GM decides to create an entire new division for their EV sector, I believe that would do wonders for the stock. There is no doubt that GM will be a huge player in the EV game as well as the auto driving in the future. I, I, I really see this stock is undervalued at $30 per share. And let's just hop over here to Yahoo Finance and see if they agree with me. It looks like Yahoo Finance has GM set as a 2 or 1.9, which is a buy, and they have it valued at 39.25, which is nine, almost over $9 more than it is right now. So the, you, everyone sees the opportunity for growth is there besides that nice 5.1% dividend. I mean, I don't see how you can go wrong with any of these three companies at all. I really don't. Uh, they all offer nice, juicy dividends, and the, they all offer some room for growth. Maybe not a ton of growth with the, with a company like Coca-Cola, but with Chevron and GM, depending on what happens here, when oil gets back kicking and when the EV thing really takes off, the sky's the limit for both of these companies. But Anyways, I want to thank everyone for watching this video. Remember, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really does help out the channel. Also, if you're new around here and like what you see, please hit that juicy subscribe button and get notified whenever I upload a video. And guys, if any of you are interested in two free stocks and don't have a Weeble account, 
I will leave a link in the description below. If you use the link and open a Weeble account, we both get two free stocks, and it turns out to be a win-win for both of us. Anyways, thanks again everyone for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.